and trying to contain the run and uh, set edges and plan side out. So uh, obviously this is a good front seven. We got our work cut out for us. Uh, Bob? What's up, Ty? Uh, you guys seem to, at least in the last game and, and over the past couple of weeks, you guys seem to be really comfortable uh, in the run game. What do, you, what do you like about this system and run blocking in it? Uh, yeah, I really enjoy playing uh, in the scheme we play in. Um, it's a lot of fun to, to, to go out there and, and do what we get to do. Um, it's also nice, obviously, having Derrick Henry um, you know, with his, his abilities and talents. So, uh, yeah, I just, it's, it's fun playing, playing in a zone scheme and, and getting a block for a guy like Derrick. And the other backs are all, they all run hard. So it's, it's a good place to play. Uh, John? Okay. Uh, I wonder if you could talk about how the transition kind of back to left tackle. I know you've been more right the last few years, uh, how that has gone. And also, um, you know, how often you talk to Taylor and, you know, if, uh, if you're getting some advice for him for on, on that front. Gotcha. Um, it's nice to be able to play one position uh, consistently and, and uh, you know, have stuff you want to address and then be able to go and do it immediately and, and do it in the same uh, on the same side and in the same technique realm. So it's nice to be able to kind of hone in uh, stuff you want to work on just playing at one position. And uh, yeah, Taylor's reached out to me, you know, before a couple of games randomly and uh, kind of wished me luck. And, um, you know, he's, he's been a, a good support. Thank you. Uh, David? Uh, you face good players every week in this league, but does Khalil Mack get your attention a little bit more than most guys when you're preparing? Yeah, like you said, everyone's capable. You know, this is the National Football League, and, and uh, you know the guys on the edge are all are all special talents and special athletes, uh, regardless of what team you're, you're playing. Um, that being said, Khalil Mack is a special uh, special caliber of player uh, within that, and he is. Uh, is a challenge, so it'll be it'll be a good uh, measuring stick and lock one for us this week. With a guy like that, do you do you spend any extra film time or spend any extra time thinking about it, or do you try to make it just another week and do what you do? I try to keep it as just another week. Um, you know, I, throughout the week, you kind of just work on yourself, and fixing things that came up from the week before, um, and continuing to do stuff that you do well well. And then kind of as the week goes on, you start kind of diving a little deeper into the personnel you're going up against. So um, it's it's pretty much just the same process, regardless of who, who we're going up against. But obviously, you know, he's got a little bit uh, deeper of a skill set. Uh, Kayla? Hey, Ty, I, I think I heard you mention in an interview um, that Roger Saffold is kind of like a Khalil Mack in his own way, obviously on the offensive line. Um, what's your relationship been like him um, since, you know, joining the line there permanently? And um, what has he meant in terms of leadership for this team? Yeah, he's been unbelievable. Um, he's a, a great player and above that, great dude, great guy, um, great teammate, great father. So it's just, it's, it's a, a blessing to be able to play next to a guy like him. Um, and be able to rely on him to do what he's supposed to do when he's supposed to do it, which he always does. So, um, and like I, I was saying, yeah, he is, he's a special talent. You know, I think there's a, there's a little bit at the top of this league that is above the rest. And he is that at his position. And uh, a lot of fun playing next to Roger. Uh, Jim. And Ty, obviously you've started a lot of games in your career. You've come off the bench and played. I mean, how good is it to kind of, settle in and do you feel like you're getting into more of a rhythm with Roger and the entire offensive line the more you play? Definitely. Uh, coming off the bench is never easy. Uh, it's super, super random and, and uh, unpredictable. So it's nice to have a consistent um, plan of attack for, for one position going into every week. And like I said, being able to kind of hone in uh, stuff that I want to work on throughout the week at that same position. So it's nice to be able to get that little break. And, uh, yeah, it's, been, it's been a lot of fun. Uh, John? Yeah, Ty, this is kind of a, a random question, but um, just wondering in, in your experience, what's more difficult uh, to, to handle as a, as a tackle? Uh, a guy just kind of screaming off the edge or like a, a twist and stunt? 
uh, on a on a pass rush, which is which is more of a challenge, do you think? You know, I think that they they kind of complement each other. Um, if you're out of whack in your pass set and you're too worried about speed and they they're setting up games, then you're going to be uh, on edge when they run a game. And if you're sitting waiting on the, on the game, then you're probably going to get burned around the edge. So um, they kind of go hand in hand. And uh, at the end of the day, you just kind of have to trust your technique uh, to put you in the right spot, regardless of what the defense does. Thank you. All right, we ran through all of them. Have a good Friday. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks.